From RedstoneAlabama.com, the Arsenal's Security Assistance Command works with many different countries to help build up their armed forces. One of those countries is Saudi Arabia. Jeff Martin explains tonight how the command is working to basically create a military for that country's royal family and doing so from scratch. Over the past several years, a good portion of the billions of dollars in weapons bought by Saudi Arabia has come through the Redstone Arsenal-based U.S. Army Security Assistance Command. That unit actually has an office in Saudi Arabia where hundreds of Americans are training and building up the royal family's military known as the Saudi National Guard. Our mission is to provide train, advise, and assist, and also uh, the foreign military sales aspect of fielding the equipment. That's Major General Frank Muth, who heads the program office. He says the latest focus for his office has been on aviation. As of 18 months ago, they had no aircraft, and now we have fielded the first brigade. The goal is for three of those brigades, which according to the program office will be used to protect the kingdom's borders and important areas like oil fields. Aviation provides that flexibility and that speed and that range. According to a 2010 announcement, the fleet will be made up of 72 UH-60M Blackhawk and 12 MD-530F utility helicopters, along with 24 AH-64E Apache and 36 AH-6I attack helicopters. But why is America helping to build the Saudi National Guard in the first place? According to the program office, building it up increases the strategic readiness of the American Army. You could read more about the program office's work at our website. For RedstoneAlabama.com, I'm Jeff Martin. From space